What is up guys, Brian Drake, KTGBHD, back at it again with another, uh, YouTube video. Uh, today's video, as you saw in the thumbnail and the title, we are building Spongebob's Pineapple. Uh, basically, we're gonna get started with this build, and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the blocks that you need, uh, everything that you need to build this house, how to build it, the layout, and everything that you need. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this, uh, video, and uh, smash like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the video, so peace All right guys, so we're gonna get started on this build. Uh, we're gonna go back a few steps because uh, You don't want it all next to each other because at one point you might not have enough space So we're gonna do a seven by seven by seven by seven uh, circular uh, Kind of like a circular build because if you were doing eight or six uh, it would have to be a double door and there would be no middle, so that would be bad because SpongeBob's house only has one door, not two. Um, so this is all pre-recorded. Uh, if you see something um, that makes me like stutter, because that's because I don't exactly know what I was doing here. But I think what he's trying to say is that we're gonna have to build up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So once you finish the seven by seven, you're gonna have to go up by six. And then uh, fill it all in around. So yeah, uh, I'll be right back when everything's filled in. So yeah. So once you're done filling everything up, you're gonna have to make a second layer, which we're not gonna work on the the, the top yet. For so basically, we're gonna have to add like these little corners so it doesn't look all blocky. So uh, what I realized, I could have just like put it to the side and have to build these pillars. That just wasted a lot, a lot of time. But once you're do doing doing that, you're gonna have to place a block there. That you're gonna go around the build twice. Uh, you're gonna have to go up too, but you're gonna go around the build like so, like like just like you did filling in the circular seven by seven circle. Um, so this is uh my my uh second attempt at this. My first attempt was way too thick, as you saw if you guys saw for a little bit. Uh, this is uh, my third time building this house. Uh, not this version, but the if we were talking about this version, this would be the second time I'm building this house. Once you're done with the, t like that, like the two, you're gonna have to add like these three little things. You're gonna have to have like one spot left, like one block open, because it would look weird if everything was, you know, just like not filled in. So once you're doing that, you're gonna have to add one one little more layer of going around. Uh, it's because so we can uh, give the pineapple some shape and um, add leaves later on. Basically, if you don't have this little cross, you might have done something wrong. Uh, that's all I was trying to say there. Uh, so we're done with the base. As you can see, this is what the base looked like. So. Now we're gonna move on to the next things. I will see you guys when I have all the materials. What you're gonna need next is a slime block, light gray concrete powder, uh, packed ice, iron door, stone button, iron trap door, and some spruce buttons to spruce it up. Um, and also we're gonna need the lever, so let's just quickly grab that. And sorry for the mic last time. It, it, it sounded bad last clip. I don't know why it, it was just, but next you're gonna have to do a three by four little pathway. You can make it longer if you want. But then you're gonna use the slime blocks because SpongeBob has um like these little um green thingies on his pathway. Uh, next you're gonna have to work, do his door. Uh, you're gonna have to put a little door frame, but make it out of ice because it looks like it's kind of like a, a vault door. Next you're gonna add the iron door, place the stone button so you can go in, and place the stone button on the other side so you can come out. After you're done with that, we're gonna add the windows. Uh, as you can see, the windows are on the top left and the bottom right. Don't know why SpongeBob uh, wanted that his house to be like that, but it's like that, so we're gonna have to work with it. Uh, as you can see, the trapdoors aren't you know perfectly aligned and stuff, but it's fine. We'll wor we'll, we'll worry about that after. Uh, we'll place the levers inside once we're done with every single building. Uh, next, we're going to do the chimney, I guess you could say. Um, so we're gonna have to build out. And place one, and then you place the iron trap door on top. Oh, I did something wrong. My bad. I am very sorry, and I apologize. I made a severe lapse of my judgment. Um, 
So we're gonna bring it back up one. Um, so then, that's it. Then we're gonna add a window on the bottom of the chimney, just like two blocks down. And SpongeBob doesn't have a window in the back, so we're gonna add one to the side because he was, I remember one episode he was talking to Squidward and out of that window, he was also trying to talk to Patrick. <clears throat> we're not gonna work on the interior because uh, this is an exterior build, but what we're gonna need next is like buttons to make it look like a pineapple. These buttons are really important because without it, it wouldn't really look like a pineapple. You can like replicate what my first build did or you can just completely go random at it. You can uh, choose to follow me or like do, do, do whatever order you want to put your buttons in. So for the front side, I wanted to completely replicate that because I thought it looked nice in the front. But then after that, I'm going to go completely random. So what we're going to do now is uh, completely just like the ice blocks. We're going to make them, you know, the trap doors come down. Uh, so as you can see, I did something wrong. The trap door wasn't working. I realized I had to break that. Um, so let's leave. I think we did all the windows. So, oh, this one didn't work. Uh, we'll come back to that. My bad. <clears throat> uh, so let's just quickly just place these buttons as fast as possible. Uh, cause I actually want to talk about some stuff while we're placing these buttons. Uh, where have I been? My channel. Uh, my upload schedule. Shh. I, I know. I'm turning into C Day. Don't worry about it, guys. Um, uh, I will keep doing, since Minecraft is back, I guess, I'm gonna keep doing, uh, Minecraft videos and how to builds. Uh, I'm gonna make Squidward's house next. If you guys want to see that, hit the like button. If we hit five likes, th just this video, since this is my first video of doing Minecraft builds, I will post uh, uh, Squidward's house. So, now that we're done, we're going to grab some grass and flowers. You can do whatever flowers you want, but I'm just going to grab whatever flowers I want, to be honest. Um, so, once you grab every single flower that you need, you're going to surround the place in dirt. But, the dirt isn't supposed to go everywhere. As you can see, I put a lily act, but I realize I'm going to have to, like, replace that later. You don't you don't have to put dirt everywhere, so, like, some you can just, like, destroy some. Because uh, that will ruin the sand environment, kind of. So, uh, I'll be right back when I uh, finish placing all these flowers. Alright, guys, now that we're done, we're going to work on the leaves. And for the leaves, this is definitely the hardest part of the build because the leaves are um very hard to work on uh you can't perfect them but i think i have a little strategy to make these leaves look better so basically i will show you this strategy and i'll go all around uh, i don't want to waste you guys this time so basically we're gonna make this little like pattern here as you can see we're gonna keep going with it uh this is for just the front and back and sides but then for the middle i have a different idea planned so um once i finish doing everything there i will be right back um then you have to add some shading so once i finish that for the left right and back sides i will see you guys then all right once we're done with the front and back sides uh we're gonna have to do the corners so the corners are completely random. I don't know how to like do them, but the corners, I guess I'll just work on. Uh, you guys can copy me if you want, or you can do it whatever way you want. But I'm gonna talk about some stuff um, about my channel while this gameplay is rolling. Um, so my uh, schedule, what do you guys wanna see me upload? I don't know what to upload because summer's ending. I feel like I did not use it wisely for my YouTube channel. I definitely did not use it very well. I mean, I posted like four videos this summer, uh, which is bad. But if you guys want to see Memes 3, uh, let me know. Memes 3, Minecraft Memes 3. Uh, it's a pretty cool series that I made. Uh, this video will have to hit, also hit five likes if you want to see Memes 3. Uh, so, I feel like it's definitely gonna hit 5 likes very, very fast if, um, we, because a lot of people like to see memes 3, um, or memes in general, 
my videos have hit almost 200 views each of the memes videos um have done th gotten like in total they probably got like 300 views so that's pretty nice uh so yeah uh we are done with the leaves we are done with the spongebob house that is all i'm gonna be showing you guys for this episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this has been your boy brian aka tbsd and as usual i'm signing out peace